Hello there, my name is Lanius and welcome back. As you can see, some things have changed. I haven't recorded anything in a while. <laughs> I wasn't on camera in a while actually. And I don't know if I still remember how to actually record anything. As you can see, I'm in a new place, uh, some new looks going on, and some really old jacket. <laughs> so, also I was originally planning to have some better background there, but it turned out my desk won't fit on this wall, so the camera could face on the cabinets, books and all the cool stuff so you can see my whole room basically which is not very good because for every recording I have to make sure it's well it's clean so yeah what you see right now is clean where is my second hand clean <laughs> so actually wanted to start with some real video but I figured that maybe I need some warm-up and maybe just to see how the recording here is going like at all so here I am and I don't really have some specific subject talk about so maybe I will just talk about you know about Emacs again <laughs> because believe me or not I haven't left Emacs for that time I was away of course I was thinking a little bit about the Vim again but I guess I guess there are some elements of Emacs that I wouldn't really want to um, you know just uh, lose by going back to Vim and there are some differences from what I've used to um, what I've used to have when I was showing you my configs last time mm. nothing really big I guess but what you can see right away is that I have tabs now I mean it was like a weird thing because I have never ever been able to make the tabs to work in Doom Emacs but I finally got it and it is thanks to mm, let's see this honestly I have very little idea what this even does but it makes the tabs work and the nice thing is that the tabs are like per project so if I have a few projects open at one time which I often have uh, while working especially if I go to another if I open another window let's say even and open another project there then it won't be showing me you know all the buffers but only buffers from the current current project or 
if for example i will go to um, okay i haven't compiled the vterm because i was doing some update anyway as you can see there is vterm and there are some you know some of the default buffers like some logs scratch buffer etc and here are the project buffers so it's quite nice also one thing which i'm not really sure i really need is uh, the three max so Oh, it shows me some project, other project, why? I have closed it, I believe, but anyway, it shows me the project, current project 3, I can click here, but honestly, I don't really use it, like at all, because I've been came very you know mm, used to just switching buffers like this you know or using the i buffer but usually i just i just normally use uh, space bb and here we go but yeah uh, I was getting a little tired with this workflow kind of and that's why I again tried to make the tabs to work and as you can see I succeeded the tabs are here I can but I can switch between them or not oh yeah I'm just stupid I'm just very stupid so I can switch between them so when I have the microphone in my face I kind of go crazy and I started using the the, the wrong modifier <laughs> so I'm not really entirely sure what really here is new as compared to what I showed yeah I guess I haven't had this e-menu thing yoinked from DT as you can see mm. yeah some functions for that which basically is a launcher okay, again wrong button a launcher like D menu but it's actually emacs only drawback of this is that if i close emacs if i don't have any mm, any emacs window open then it just won't go up but luckily i almost always have an emacs window open somewhere <laughs> so it's not a big problem <coughs> and i've actually made this little thing because i'm on wayland and 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 rofi doesn't work on wayland at least it didn't the last time i tried wofi is a little meh so i've just made my own in emacs because why not okay some comments some uh, yeah, it's commands actually, like functions, interactive functions. Mm. Just recently I stopped using this because it just opens vterm with lazy git or just pulls up a lazy git buffer. If there is one because I've started using magit, magit or however you say it. As you can see, I haven't even committed it uh, to my dot files <coughs> because I don't know. Uh, it started um, 
being a little irritating because you know uh, open a program in vterm and you have the evil mode then you sometimes want to send the escape key to the program that is running in the terminal and it ends up going to Emacs, changing the mode to normal mode while in Viterm normally you want to have the insert node like all the time that's why I've also stopped using Viterm as my terminal and just went back to Kitty and actually, actually I still have Viterm as my you know, default terminal shortcut which is um, super enter but I also have and had before the uh, shift super enter which opens kitty and I actually haven't changed the key bindings I just started using <laughs> super shift enter to use kitty when I want to use terminal as I actually have have some you know uh, z shell functions mainly with fzf which I also have rewritten in elisp to use them in emacs uh, which uh, I'm looking for one but of course I can see it now oh yeah it's this will it show me the definition yes so it just pulls up the list of defined hosts in ssh config and then i select a host and it just opens me a vterm with basically ssh session so i have the same thing but written in zsh with fzf fzf however you want to say it so it's not a big deal that i don't use this anymore because it's just like just more comfortable to use honestly because i was always forgetting that you know i need to use like uh, the control c control z to make escape go to vterm and not emacs and sometimes just weird things would happen and also in insert mode in vterm if i want to you know use some key binding i would need to go uh, alt space instead of just space and then i would sometimes use alt space in like a normal buffer some text buffer and it was just mess so I decided to not use it I mean sometimes I pull up some you know like this drop down or like drop below terminal to quickly do something but other than that I just use kitty and then it's fine there is zero pain <laughs> so So it suddenly turned into 15, almost 15 minute video talking about how my Emacs looks like from a video I started with, I don't know what I'm going to talk about, just to say anything at all, see if I can talk about anything and it turns out it kind of works. So, so yeah, other nerdy things. I'm still on Arch, I mean not really Arch, but I mean it's Arco Linux, it's Gnome as you can see here, or not, I mean now for sure you can see it's Gnome, I like it, it's Gnome 45, it works nice for a little moment. Uh, Pop shell wasn't working, so I was using Forge for like I don't know two days, 
and then pop shell got an update in the in the Arco Linux repository and it just started working. So I went back to pop shell because I just I already had all the key bindings there figured out. They're a little different in Forge and changing them not always worked like I wanted. So I went back here. I mean, actually, this system started as as zero Linux, but I've decided against using it, and I didn't really want to reinstall it. So I probably did some thing really not recommended way of switching distributions because I just removed uh, zero Linux repositories, added Arco Linux repositories, removed some orphan uh, packages, installed some base Arco Linux packages. Some packages I needed to just install from the from the AUR, but it works. I had no hiccups uh, for now. Hopefully, it won't change, especially because I said it. So, and also I wasn't really like messing with the system at all. I was quite. You know, my nerd activities were kind of on a hiatus from this, from some time. I wasn't really messing too much. I just had what works and it worked. It still works and that's that, that. Yeah. I wanted to say something else, something more, but I already have forgotten. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, as, as for the nerd activities, I was mainly, I mean, I already stopped, but I was really, really going really strong with playing cyberpunk. And yes, I was playing on Linux and it worked okay and it's really cool game. And I'm thinking about going back because there was a new patch and, and the new DLC. But I don't know if I want to lose another 100 hours. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't think there's more to say. I will be back with some more, you know, like videos with a subject. But here's my little return to recording. Mm, with my a little messy room background maybe I will get some <laughs> green screen but I'm not really sure if I want to put a green screen here and we will see so I hope anyone is still like watching I mean that you haven't re uh, already forgotten about this channel like completely maybe so thank you for watching and i see you in the next video i guess so bye bye looking at the screen here when camera is here and the screen with stuff is here so I'm not sure how it's going to look on the recording anyway. <laughs>